Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over with you on some of the things that you can do with this small submarine tank. Now this is my first 10 gallon submarine tank that I have built and I want to show you how easy it is to change and upgrade and do different versions of this tank. So this tank, like I said, uh, full capacity is 11.5 gallons. Running is about 10. You need to have a little bit of headspace in there. So this tank is going to be like your standard uh, base model version. You're going to have the 4-inch tri-clover fitting up here. You're going to have a 2-inch in the center, and you're going to have a half-inch NPT for a drain. This one has a 1-inch tri-clover ferrule, which this is a prototype, so we changed it a little bit to help keep the price down a little bit lower for people that want to get into this hobby um, and have a nice setup but still be affordable. So um, a little bit about the tank. The tank is um, made out of 16 gauge stainless steel. Um, it's got uh, a cross brick across the top. It has a cross brick across the front and the sides. Just keep it stable. Keep the stainless rigid when you Put your fittings together so you can see that we have uh, a variety of different stainless fittings over here that you can use on this now the jars are something that i make that would be considered like an upgrade right from your, your base of your tank okay so the base model tank complete setup um, you're going to get a 10 gallon tank you're going to get a six inch column which we have a 12 inch spool here right this is another upgrade you can do it a longer spool and then you'll get my version of a stainless whiskey helmet so i kind of want to explain a few things on these so this is a whiskey helmet that i developed out of um, just some five gallon kegs okay this has a two inch port here that goes out for your lid arm or whatever you want to do and then it has your four inch uh, track over fitting for your column so in between this four inch and this four inch the possible the possibilities are pretty much endless right there's all kinds of different things that you can do in between these two ferrules right here which is great right you can make it small you can make it big uh, you could put bubble plates in here with a d flag you could do all kinds of things so now this one i use um electric um with so i put my um, temperature probe on the side that way I'm directly in line you can see I'm directly in line with this pipe so this pipe here goes all the way to the center of this it's kind of hard to see in there but you might be able to see that um, the reason for that is uh, if you put it flush with the face of this now what you're gonna have is you're gonna have easy flow so the flow is gonna come out and just go right on through right it's gonna flow real easy you're not gonna give much passive reflux I wanted to get some passive reflux into this whiskey helmet just to give a, a little bit more um, reflux action versus what you would get if it's just just all this surface area with the, the vapor to be in. So now it has to fight to find the end of that pipe, okay? So, and another option is I'm gonna make a, uh, like a, a gin basket that you could actually hang on top of that to hang down inside this whiskey helmet, right? It'll have to be able to fit through this this ID is three and seven eight, so it's going to have to be roughly the you know smaller than that, you know, um, a little bit, so it slides inside there. It might be a little bit of a challenge, but I'll I'll still figure it out. Um, but um, so there's going to be two versions you'll be able to order these through. So you'll be able to order this so that you can either run the electricity with it with a temperature probe um, and the heating element port, which is a two inch strike lever ferrule. This is three inches from the bottom. That way it gives you plenty of clearance in the bottom so you won't have any um, heat that wants to transfer to the bottom instead of into your mash inside, right? So there will be the electrical version and then there'll be the version where you can just run on propane. So if you wanna run propane, obviously you don't want this here because you won't be able to see your, um, um, your temperature. You'll have to have it switched to the front. So, I'm superstitious. I do it every every single time the exact same way. So I run everything from the left to the right. That's how I do it, right? So if it was me and this is up here and I'm running propane, I want my temperature probe to be here 
in the middle or my temperature gauge to be here in the middle so I can read what my head temperature is, okay? Um, and then you also probably don't want a heating element port if you're running a propane. So we can change that if you're not gonna be running propane, we can change the location of this to up here if you want so you can have it as a fill port or we can have it up here a little bit higher so you can put in a sight glass, and sight glass fill port, whatever you wanna do, right? We can always change that, but I need to know that option um, when it's at, at the order time, right? That way I build it correctly and, and don't mess it up for you. Um, so this one here is just for me as a prototype for electric, okay? Uh, because I always run electric on everything. So um, I'm gonna assemble a few things on this and show you how easy it is to assemble um, and show you what, you know, the mason jar, the half gallon mason jars um, that I use for my mason jar uh, infusion tea, how easy those and what those look like on, on this here. Uh, they, they work very well. I, I've used them quite a few times in testing this. So uh, let's, get to, let's get to assembly here. So uh, you're gonna need your two tri-clover gaskets. You're gonna need four inch clamps, right? So we're gonna use, on this demonstration, we're gonna use the 12 inch spool because the six inch spool is uh, being tested at another location right now. The other tank is being tested at another location. So this is what we have here. So we're gonna take this 12 inch column, we're gonna put that on, and then we're gonna put our whiskey helmet on, put your gasket on here. You're gonna put your whiskey helmet up there. So that's basically what that's gonna look like, right? Um, now, there's a lot of people that say you gotta put copper in this and whatever, do whatever you like, okay? So uh, that's totally up to you, whether you wanna put copper in the helmet itself or you can put copper in the column. Um, I will put on the website a uh, gasket, a four inch tri-clover gasket with screen. So you could put the screen gasket here to keep your copper from falling out. Um, that will be in the website as well. So basically this is, this is what the top end is gonna look like. Now, we are going to have a, um, a 10 inch spool that will be part of this, right? So you'll have the, uh, the 10 inch spool, right? This is just your base model here. And then we'll go with the, uh, with the 90, we have that. I'm not gonna put it all the way together just because uh, I need to keep this under a certain amount of time. So there we have that and let me grab the uh, 90. So that would be your 10 inch lint arm. And then you have a 90, long radius 90 that would go with that as well. So then we have that, okay? And then once you have your, uh, your 90 on, uh, that basically almost completes the whole setup right there, almost. We have a couple of more um, crucial pieces yet. So if you notice, I'm kind of picky the way my clamps go. So then you would have that 90 on, and then you would take a um, 12 inch shotgun condenser, and then you'd have your condenser right here, right? This would be your condenser. Uh, if this is a hobby or something that you wanna get into, uh, I'm sure you've done your research and stuff on this, so you know what most of these parts are going to be and what they're going to look like. This condenser isn't completely done yet, but you get the logist of it. Um, so here you have your tank, you have your column, you have a whiskey helmet, you have your lint arm, you have a 90, and you'd have your 12-inch uh, shotgun condenser, and then you can either just do a cap, uh, whatever the option you choose for the end of this. So you can do the cap, or you can do a uh, two-by-one reducer, which I have over here. I also make these two. So uh, these, these all come uh, pretty much standard. So this is basically the way it's going to come when you order a base model. So this is just straight base model here. Uh, and this is, this is what it's going to look like, just like that, right? Oh, we got a clamp that's the wrong direction here. So we got to change that one, it doesn't look right. All right, there we go. So basically, this is what you're gonna have with a base model, other than the 12 inch column, it's gonna be a six inch. So that's what you're gonna have as, as a base model. Now, the different upgrades on this are endless, right? Like I said before, 
you can do whatever you want in this column. You can make the column taller, you can make it shorter, you could put uh, side glasses in there, you could pack it full of copper, you could put bubble plates in there, you could put a D flag in there, um, which eventually I will do that and I will do a demonstration video on what that looks like as well. So the other, the other upgrade too is you could put a parrot right here on the bottom of this. Um, and if you order a parrot through me, a stainless parrot, um, I will provide the reducer that has the vent and the vent tube in it. That way you don't have any issues with any, any kind of burping or anything inside your, um, your, your parrot. Uh, because you gotta have a vent here, otherwise it'll, it'll blow the, the hydrometer out of the parrot. So now that's just one type of the upgrade, you know, the, the still that you can get through me. This is, this is what I offer with this 10 gallon. Uh, five gallon will be exactly the same. Um, 20 gallon will be exactly the same. And then you can just upgrade from there. Okay. So now we're going to take these off and I'm going to show you how easy it is to convert. So if you want to do it, just a stripping run, right? You want to do a real fast stripping run. Here you go, right? That'd be the perfect spot. Just crank it up and just let it rip. Okay. So we'll take a couple of these clamps off here because we'll need them. So we're going to set our stuff there. Uh, keep our organization neatly here. So now we're going to take all this apart. Now we don't, we don't have a bypass for this. So now when I use my jars, um, I don't, I don't do a bypass. Um, I just make sure that, uh, um, I, I run everything out before I put any types of flavor or anything in my jars. Okay. So now we're back to the tank, the column and the whiskey helmet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the jars. Okay. So I'm going to show you how easy the jars are to assemble. So we have a gasket, right? Anytime that you buy one of these, um, infusion teas, you're going to get this gasket, this goes on to the mason jar. These are the best gaskets, right? So when you order a, an infusion tea, you're going to get the gasket. You're going to get the wide mouth jar top with a two inch triclover ferrule on the top of that. You will have to provide the ring. I just use the rings that come on the jars and you'll have to provide the half gallon mason jar. And then these just screw together real super simple, right? Super simple. These are really easy. There's nothing to them, okay? Just like that. <clears throat> and they really, they really grab. So there's one of those. Now, uh, I have two stainless and one copper. I'll do a stainless copper and then a stainless. So now we have it that way. Now you put your gasket on there. So now you have your gasket on there and this just slides down in there just like that, right? All one piece. This is all one piece. All these are all one piece. Uh, the stainless steel ones, they're pretty robust um, and they're great, easy to clean. I love these things, they work great. And then you just put your two inch right clover clamp on top of that and there you go, right? Now you have a half gallon mason jar infusion tea, okay? These are on the website, you can get this. So when you order these, you get a tea, you get uh, uh, clamp is optional, gasket's optional, and you get the jar top with the gasket, right, for the mason jar. Okay, so you, and you can order them with clamps, with gaskets, the whole kit and caboodle, right? So now we're gonna attach this up here. So you can see how easy it is to put these on, right? Don't forget your gasket put that up there. And this is just one of the upgrades that I have for this style right here. And this is what makes it so much nicer here. So there's one. Okay. That's just one. So I like to do three or four. So now we're going to do uh, the copper one, which we're going to get the, the fancy jar out, right? Put your gasket in, make sure it's sitting inside there. Put your top on and then put a ring on it there you go put your gasket on top of the jar drop your tea in put your clamp on and 
Now I can make these tees. I can make these tees uh, from two inch, three inch, and four inch if you want, right? So when you order a tee, you specify what ferrule you want on there, whether you want to keep it all two inch, which is pretty common, or you want me to change it to a three inch, or you want me to change it to a four inch. So um, the T will stay the same. We'll just have like a reducer right here on the end of it, right? It'll be a, it'll be a, a, a three inch ferrule or it'll be a four inch ferrule. So pretty easy to adapt to any size with this. It could be a two and a half if you want, okay? So then we'll put number two up here. Don't forget your gaskets in between, right? So there we have two, two mason jars there, right? So you'll see that they're a little bit different in height just because of the ferrule height here is different than those. That ferrule is a long ferrule, this ferrule is a 5 inch ferrule. And then we'll do the, the third and final one. So we'll do the gasket, we'll do the jar top, mason jar ring on top of that, do the gasket, do this. All these will be etched a certain direction. So you can see the etching out front, everything is from left to right. This is where your vapor is going to come in and go down. That way you cannot get these backwards. But obviously your vapor goes in this side instead of that side. It'd be running backwards anyway. Like that. Super easy to install, to change. And this is why I don't put uh, anything for a bypass online. But it's doable. Just a lot of extra involved with that. So okay. So there you go. Now you got three jars on your little 10 gallon tank. And that's just one small upgrade that, that you can do to up your game a little bit. Now, if you're just getting into this, you probably don't wanna do all this fancy stuff because you know these are, these are upgrades. Um, you wanna keep it simple so you can learn um, the, the ins and outs and, and you wanna be able to know your, your equipment, right? You wanna understand your equipment on how your equipment's running. So you probably don't wanna do these yet. Uh, once you have a little bit of uh, experience under your belt, then you can go ahead and throw some some fancy stuff in there. But this is just one one possibility that you could do with with this. I mean, it's it's so great of a little starting base that uh, I absolutely love this. This is my 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 favorite build yet. Um, I really absolutely love running these. Um, we've done it uh, five times now. And uh, all five times, um, you know, I, I consistently get the, the, the same proof every single time um, without the jars. I put the jars on there, I get the exact same results every single time. So um, with, with just three jars, it's, it's, a, it's a good, clean product for, for us. I mean, it's, it's great. So um, this is uh, um, one small upgrade that, that we can offer for you. Um, there's different uh, things that we can put in the column if you if you prefer, but uh, uh, I, I absolutely love this little setup. So um, if you want, let me know um, in the comments. Let me you know send me an email. Go to the website drcstainlessworks.com and you know get your tank ordered. Um, right now we're we're two to three weeks um, on production because they've been pretty popular. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a little while uh, to start getting these um, produced. Everything will be made and built here. Uh, obviously, you can see all my equipment here. It's a little messy, but, you know, it's a working shop. So um, we, we build these all live. So you, the customer, can see exactly how the, your product is made. 
and you know what goes into it. So, and if you're watching live, you can uh, you can make a change uh, at that time. So, um, small changes are not a problem. Bigger changes, uh, once the hole is in the material, it's kind of hard to patch it. So, um, we don't want it to make look like a, a, a patchwork quilt, right? We want to get it right the first time um, because it's uh, time and money. So, go on there, check it out, and see. Let me know if you want to run electric electricity i run a 3500 watt um 220 element in my stuff so um i prefer the the two inch um electrical port on the front and let me know if you're going to be you know if you're going to be doing propane um then you know you don't want the temperature probe on the side you want it in the front so you can see um and if if you also um want a fill fill spout we can do a fill spout that's extra um and if you want to do another uh uh, half inch MPT here for another temperature probe if you want to put another uh, uh, temperature probe or thermometer or whatever in the, in the tank so um, there's so many things that we can you know we can do here uh, so that it's right for you um, and that's what my mission is to make these custom for you you know we'll start at a base and then we'll just build it from there so what we're going to do is we're going to offer the the 10 gallon tank we're going to offer a five gallon tank and we're going to also offer a 20. Um, to get to the 20 is uh, you know it, it's going to be a, a, a little bit of a, a chore but we will get there. Um, we got to this point so far so we'll, we'll get there um, but uh, right now it's a little bit slow on production um, just because we're just starting to you know gear up to get these going so um, get your orders in now before the big old rush and uh, let me know if you want to run electricity if you're going to run a uh, propane on there that way we can get our fittings in the right places so everybody I I appreciate it um, I thank you um, enjoy um, and let me know what you think shine on